hi guys. It is a fine but chilly day here in the mid 40s here in the paradise of Brooksville, Florida, here in the end times of the opening week of January 2018. It is Friday, January 5th, 2018. So I need to dive into my first ecological meltdown roundup rant of the year. But before I do that, I simply want to go on to my various comments pages uh, to bring you what's on the minds of our alert tribes members in the opening days of 2017. And guys, I appreciate it. You know, it used to take me about 10 minutes to read the comments each day. Uh, I had. I see 110 comments that I had to read just just from my rants yesterday and close to 200 comments uh, new comments coming in and I do appreciate it what I do here is is I'm trying to open the debate and I would absolutely love to be able to respond to every one of you but I, I have to admit and it, this is a a bad complaint to have that I'm that the debate is is going so exponential here uh, I it is, I'll be lucky if I can just you know 200 comments a day good God and uh, I was gonna read some of this book length manuscript from alert tribes member Harley canine who uh, the bottom line let's just touch with Harley then we're gonna check in the bottom line of Harley's book length comment most of which I agree with is uh, okay I'm not going to spend the rest of my life rotting away and alienating everyone in my life I'm just going to live the rest of the time we have here however long that is, like a clueless moron. I will be a non-clueless, clueless moron because life is much happier that way. Like they said in the Matrix, ignorance is bliss. I'm not ignorant. I'm just not going to worry about it until I have to actually worry about it. That's going to be a while, somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 plus years you'll live a full life Hambone and this was actually I love this uh, new tribes members uh, YouTube moniker child free hopium free vegan child free hopium free vegan good for you brother uh, this was his response to uh, Harley Harley got a bunch of responses to his to his rant and this was child free hope even free vegans <clears throat> quote collapse is an ongoing process that started several hundred years ago or perhaps even very roughly about 12,000 years ago the advent of agriculture and large-scale ownership of private property and large-scale wars and this process is well underway and it is continuing now and will continue long into the future and I don't think we can pin a specific date to a long-term process although we can pin approximate dates to significant events within the process such as the date when the average global temperature will warm up by four degrees Celsius. The process of killing and devouring most key aspects of life on the planet leading to the extinction of most key aspects of life on the planet that process is well underway. <clears throat> Extinction kind of depends on how you define it, but I expect humans to be at least technically definable as a dead clade 
walking. I need to investigate this more. Look up the Wikipedia article on dead clade walking. Clade spelled C-L-A-D-E. I need to do that. By the end of this century, with perhaps a few stragglers hanging on in the few remaining habitable air areas for a while longer, perhaps several decades or maybe even a century longer. I doubt there is going to be one specific singular standalone discrete extinction or near extinction event on a time scale that most humans would comprehend, but rather the road down, the downward spiral, the proverbial spiral circling of the drain <coughs> is going to get increasingly rapid and increasingly nasty and brutal for approximately the bottom 99% of the global human population and, of course, increasingly nasty, vicious, and brutal for approximately 99.99% .99 of all non-human life forms on the planet. And my response to both Harley K9 and child-free, hopium-free vegan is that pretty well sums up my view of things, All, although I have to admit I have lost a little bit of my cocky, ham-bone confidence that I had up until a year or so ago when I always used to bray, quote, anybody born before 1970 will get out of this mess just before the screen door hits us on our guilty asses on our way out, close quote. That was me up until about a year ago. I'm not quite so sure anymore, though I do agree with Paul Beckwith and Michael Mann that any clueless fucking moron doomer who says humans will be extinct in 10 years, or is it six months according to our latest doomer guru's prediction, is a raving lunatic. I wish humans would be extinct tomorrow, but it ain't going to happen, guys, so we may as well get out there and enjoy what's left while we still can. And this is, of course, the 50% of my Humpty Dumpty tribe message that I think about 1% of, of of my own subscribers understand that when you get this knowledge of how fucked we are you need that needs to be part of your motivation to get out there and enjoy this planet while we still can and, uh, which is what I'm trying to do I don't have any idea what that noise is. There's so many crazy wild animals. I need to, I need to go find my little dog. I don't know what the hell. He's chasing some fucking goose or something. Good God, he's out, he's out enjoying it. Sancho, stop harassing the damn. You, you, you know, this is Florida. This is the jungle. Little dog, get over here. I gotta go get my little dog. As while he's harassing the wildlife, the other wildlife can start harassing him right back. I'll be back at you with my ecological meltdown roundup rant as soon as I go find my little dog here in the end times. Bye, guys. Sancho! <whistles> now! Come on, little dog. Let's go. Fucking dog.